Are we recording? We are. We're recording. Okay. Uh, we're doing mailbag. It is now officially 11 o'clock right this minute. Um, but uh, I'm going to run out of the room for just one more second. There's one thing I want to check before we start mailbag. So just uh, forgive me. Excuse me for just one second. I'll be right back. Okay, I got what I needed. Um, I, uh, I went out to grab the paperwork for the mom cat real quick since I hadn't looked at it yet, and I thought that would be something that I could mention at the start of mailbag today, uh, how she is. So um, this morning I had a look at her teeth, and I said, you know, she doesn't look like she's the youngest mom cat we've ever had. And, in fact, her paperwork, um, it doesn't say a whole lot, but it does say she's five years old. Uh, and based on the, the birth date they gave her, I'm guessing that that's just a rough, you know, number of five years. Um, but it does, it matches up with, with what I'm seeing. I think she probably is about five years old. Um, it didn't say anything about her history, uh, unfortunately. Sometimes it does say, that, you know, whether she was found or uh, whether she was like, a, you know, an owner um, gave her up for some reason, sometimes because they're pregnant. So it didn't say any of that. We have no idea. Um, but she's, she's pretty chubby and, uh, I feel like she's had a pretty good life, uh, so far and I'm just going to keep on with that, uh, continue having a good life. Oh, I should check the cameras and the microphones before I start chatting with everybody, shouldn't I? Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Now it's already set probably by one of the admins. Uh, all right, cool. So, uh, yeah, she looks, she seems like, uh, she's doing, uh, well so far. Uh, she's been fairly hissy, but I think, it, you know, it's just a way of talking. She doesn't seem like she's aggressive. Also, we've had a lot of mom cats that come in and they're kind of hissy at first to set up their boundaries and things. So Oshi is a Ocean who just got adopted this morning. It's a good example of that. So, um, 
I, I don't expect that it really means anything. And I'm guessing that probably, you know, in a week, we'll, we'll forget that she ever hissed at all. Uh, but we'll see about it. Uh, no big deal. It's good that she knows how to express herself uh, that way rather than going straight to biting and fighting like some cats do. So I think that's also a good sign. Uh, then, of course, as you know, Ocean got adopted this morning very early, so I'm trying my best for everybody um, to, to sort of uh, keep going, <laughs> but I'm, I am a little tired. Um, uh, you know, I was up pretty late, and then I got up early for the adoption, plus uh, just, you know, all the, all the things. So, uh, so we're doing our best here. Uh, lots of caffeine. I've had several cups of coffee, and now I'm switching to the Diet Coke. Um, but I did, I had to grab one because I wanted to make sure I had extra caffeine on hand for the mailbag. Uh, I think that's about it for the, the news. Oh, uh, and the new mom cat does come from West Virginia, so I do know that much. Uh, kind of funny because one of the things um, I, I just did was I just had some of the, uh, the, the uh, wonderful jellies that were brought by the adopter that brought the mom cat to, uh, back to West Virginia. It was... Um, uh, see, this is what I'm talking about, names failing me. I can blame it. I'm glad that I have the lack of sleep to blame it on. Like, I wouldn't just forget names anyway. Uh, but anyhow, uh, so that was an interesting, uh, an uninteresting connection, I should say. All right, let me check real quick on Discord, make sure. That, oh, Oshie's also, we got the first update from Oshie's adopter, apparently. And it looks like it's at the check-in at the airport. So I'm guessing they made it to the airport. Uh, there's also a great picture of, her adopter and her uh, and the ocean in the background, the actual ocean in the background. She says, oh, she's done a great job traveling as I expected. Oh, she really, she gets in the carrier. She gets that harness on. She's just chill. She's just a chill travel cat. So I'm hoping that her whole trip is going to go that well. Anyway, we've got the first pictures. It looks like everything's going well so far. And I'm so happy to see that. Thank you for sharing those. Uh, if you hear this or are watching, um, what else? Uh, I think that's it. There's no extra real news. Uh, the new mom cat, I'm still getting to know her. I think I've just told you everything I know about her um, and then some. Uh, there are the x-rays posted on the Discord. It looks like three or four kittens. And she's big. Like, I haven't I haven't spent a lot of time with her yet, as much as I can. But, um, you know, it's it takes a little time to evaluate these things. Uh, but I feel like she could potentially deliver any minute, like, you know, it could be today. Um, uh, because we saw the kittens on the x-ray, we know it's not going to be longer than two and a half, three weeks at the absolute maximum. But I don't think it'll be anywhere near that. She is gigantic. And if she's only carrying three or four kittens in the first place, yeah, she could be ready to go anytime. I mean, those kittens feel like they're as big as these kittens. <laughs> so, uh, so we'll see. Uh, I need to spend more time with her. She also seems like she's a real snuggle bunny. She likes the soft blankets and things. And uh, she was kneading on the, the blankets that we'd given her. She doesn't mind too much if I put her in my lap. She doesn't want to stay there yet. But I feel like she's probably a lap cat in the end. Uh, we'll see about it, though. Uh, if not, she's at least a, a real snuggler. And uh, just cannot get enough of being petted. It, like, just loves, loves the attention. It's wonderful. So, all right. Let's open some stuff. We don't have any letters to go through today because we did all of those yesterday. So we're just going to dive right into these piles of boxes. And who knows how long it's going to take. It could be fast. It could be slow. Um, we'll find out. But this is everything that we need to do. So let's do it. First off, we have this Target box. It has, I don't think Target lets you leave a note still. Um, and there's nothing on the outside to suggest who it came from. It just says deliver to Kitten Academy, uh, which did happen. So let's see what we got. Oh my, what is it? It's a white bed of some type. Oh, it's a Christmas tree bed. A Christmas bed. It's not Christmas tree, but it's just snow white. Um, and uh, wow, it's very pretty. And, and it looks like a giant igloo. <laughs> oh, it does. It really does. It's all round, and then it's got a, a nice. Uh, Snowflake um, uh, inside. Wow. Oh, man. Custard is going to love this or Maggie uh, or any of our podcasts, I guess. And DJ is going to love it, too, because it's just so pretty and white. And I think it's going to stand up a little better than that Christmas pod that I need to I need to shore it up a little bit. The Christmas pod. Wow. Oh, if somebody sent this for a specific reason, let me know. Otherwise, I'm putting this straight into the bedroom next to the Christmas tree up there. And DJ is going to really think it's the best. 
So uh, if nobody, nobody lets me know anything, that's my plan. I think it's, it's beautiful. Wow. It really is uh, uh, like, like a snowball or an igloo. Uh, just beautiful. Wow. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, there's another target box here, too, that also... Uh, this one says Eddie, DJ, Mr. A, uh, which is... We got a couple packages last week that said that, so I should know who it's from. But, of course, my brain... Uh, I think I was about to say, I'm, I'm very glad I have the tiredness to blame this on, even though I'm sure I wouldn't be any different if I'd gotten a full 12 hours. Uh, that's how many you're supposed to get, right? Okay, these kids are playing with the packing material. I got a lot more where that came from, kids. This box is almost all packing material. You want some? Look at that. All right, whoa, it keeps going. It's like a magic trick. Let's see here. It says gingerbread house cat scratcher for cats only. I don't know who else would take it, but it does say for cats only, like I uh, not for anybody that's not a cat. Oh, it's very pretty too. The picture shows it. Um, it's a little cardboard, of course, house, but it's got window cutouts on the side, which makes it a little extra special. I like that. Let's a little extra light in. And uh, the photo they took of this is in the whitest room ever. This cat bed would fit right in there too. Oh, except the blue would be just too much. It would be too much. Uh, but this is also, this gingerbread color is a perfect match for that tunnel that showed up yesterday. So we're really getting a matching set going here. Wonderful Christmas stuff. I've got to get Christmas stuff put out ASAP. Uh, I just need a little rest before I start thinking about that. We also have a cardboard Christmas present pod. It says present house cat scratcher. And you can see it just looks like a giant green wrapped present. Uh, I hope you can see. I can see. Uh, that's also wonderful. Thank you to whomever sent all of this stuff for the faculty and for us. Uh, they are going to love it. They're just going to love it. Uh, Custard, of course, is oh, they're all big fans of the pod. I don't know why I'm trying to pick who's a big fan of the pod. Uh, I don't see Eddie in the pod too much. I guess he likes some pods, uh, but uh, Maggie and oh, and Ari too. Ari uh, likes some pods, but mostly, mostly we get Ari and Eddie in beds, and uh, Maggie, Logan, and Custard are, are big pod people. Uh, pod people, yeah. That's a that's a pun too, if you say it right. Okay. Uh, this is from the B and B sisters. I think you can tell from the the white box and the little stickers on it. We're starting to, to learn their signature. This is definitely it. So let's see what the B and B sisters have for us today. Oh, if we can, can we get in here? There we go. All right. Wow, this is a lot of packing material. These kittens are all in it. Okay, let me move this. In. I don't know if that angle gets all the way over there, but that's a fun thing. We should do a tissue fit too. All right, we got a note right on top. Perfect. It's got a, a drawing of a kitten wearing a Christmas hat hanging from a branch on a Christmas tree and just causing a disaster. That's very pretty. And it says, Merry Christmas to all at Kitten Academy. Enclosed are the usual blankets and toys to be used as you see fit. We've also enclosed the usual two cases of chicken pate. One of the blankets we sent we got specially because it reminded us of the Kahooligans. What do you think? Hope you and Dr. DJ have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. From the B&B &B sisters, and also they've written this in Christmassy red and green ink. Look at that. How cool is that? So, uh, yeah, this is a, um, a box of the usual sorts of things from the B&B &B Sisters. They're keeping us well supplied with endowments and toys. This is the Fashions Talk set. And I noticed um, maybe there's several Fashions Talk sets, but this is the classic one. Uh, so maybe they've just had it for a while. It's got the metal um, cat toy, uh, cat wand in there that I think is really cool and solid uh, and lasts a long time. And then all the usual cat toys. This is, uh, we've got some shiny, shimmery, um, uh, what do you call the fighting fish? Beta. They look like beta fish to me, but it says sparkle fish cat toy uh, with feathery tails. So we got a couple more of those as well. Here is a, uh, what appears to be a Christmas um, uh, treat set. It says holiday drinks cat toy. And you can see there's, uh, they're all sort of Christmassy blue. Um, but this one has uh, like sprinkles and whipped cream on. 
this one looks like uh, I don't know what it looks like actually. I have no idea what that's trying to be. Uh, and then the last one looks like it's got an Oreo in it, like a mudslide or something. Oh, delicious. I'm very hungry, even though I just had two pieces of toast with that West Virginia uh, jam. It was the, uh, the one that I tried. This is the first one I've opened. Was the, it was cranberry orange marmalade. And uh, I got to say, it's pretty good. Mm. No, I thought I heard uh, like a phone buzzing or something. I don't even know where my phone is now. It wasn't though. It wasn't a phone buzzing. It was just a plane or something going over. So, all right, here we have cat crinkle balls. I think these are going to be mylar balls, but let's just take a look to be sure. They feel, uh, ooh, they are mylar balls, but these ones are super fancy. Look at that. Mylar balls with a little, uh, uh, they're like shiny, like a CD, like kind of opalescent in there. I like that. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's a nice trick. Can you guys see that? I gotta get the camera where you can see the wall. She was just standing on the pole and uh, with her front paws on the cactus. Let me just make sure that that camera pointed kind of that. Oh, good. I think it was just barely on the camera. That's good enough. You got the wide view here. Cool. All right. Uh, well, let's keep rolling. Keep rolling. Uh, we've got snowballs that have faces. Are they faces? It's hard to even say what that is. It looks like a looks like a propeller and a dot and a couple of arms. I think it's supposed to be some kind of a face, but my brain is really not putting that together. This one just has two dots on it. What are these? Snowman cat toy. Oh, I see. Uh, it must be a, yes. One has a face on it. Now it's coming together. One has his bow tie and the first dot, and the other one's got the other two dots. So you have to build them. He's in pieces. Oh, plus a hat, a separate hat. How cool is that? You want to build a snowman? Uh, maybe. All right. Uh, we've got another holiday treat here. This one's got a donut decorated with Christmas trees and another big drink that says Holiday Cafe. Very cute. Those look uh, soft. Cat, cat, uh, cat nippy, it says. Cat nip. This one is a fish that says, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Uh, on one side and the other it says, Dear Santa, Define Good Holiday Fish Kicker. Very cute. All right. Then, uh, oh, oh, wait, there's more toys. Uh, let's see here. We've got these cute little fish. Uh, very fuzzy. Looks like they would be fun toys. A couple of those. And, oh, Santa's Naughty List. Oh, my goodness. It's got names on it. Uh Jack, Tiger, Milo, Loki, Leo, Loki, Circle. Yeah, of course. Uh, oh, and the nice list. I see the nice list and the naughty list. Interesting. Loki's on the naughty list. And on the nice list, we've got uh, Leo, Kitty, Simba, uh, etc. So very cute list. All right. And it's crinkly and it's got some little things on it to attract the kittens. We have the promised uh, Fancy Feast Classic Pate. We've got two cases of that, just like you say. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that. Uh, these guys do go through a lot of food. All right, let's see about those blankets and who's reminded of what. Here we have uh, what appears to be a caroling kitty with a Christmas tree, I think. Let's get it all spread out and see. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow, that mouth. That's a big mouth. <laughs> That's very cute here. Oh. Let's flip this way. Can you see it better from that camera, maybe? I don't know. I'm trying. All right. Very cute. Hey, kids. Hi. Did I scare you with the big blanket? All right. Hang on. Good. And one other. Uh, what is it? Let's see. I see a kitten. I see kittens. I see kittens on a piano. Oh, my goodness. And they do. They look a lot like this class, actually. All of them do. Wow. There's a definite resemblance. I love it. And it's a piano, uh, so they are probably also caroling. Let's see. I don't know if you can see it here or it's better. Oh, back this way. Uh, let's try that again. All right. My arms aren't big enough for this. Okay. There you go. We're trying. <laughs> it really does resemble these kittens. That's super cute. Okay. And the one uh, next to the music looks a lot like uh, Mayhem, even. We've got the whole group. Okay. Hi, Mayhem. Did I just say you? Look at you, though. You're getting skinnier. Okay. Let's go 
Good, you're starting to turn into a real kitten. So uh, that's it. Okay, thank you. Uh, B&B Sisters, that's wonderful. Again, uh, you really have kept us in blankets and endowments, and uh, I know it's it's really great for uh, um, the adopters and for us, so I, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, which reminds me, um, Ocean's Adopter did take the majority of the endowments with her. Not all of them. There's still some we're going to have to ship. But we managed to pack one big box to check on the flight. So most of the stuff is going to go with her right away, which is nice. Um, although I still think I should probably try to get that stuff out sooner rather than later. Um, but she got to take a, a marshmallow bed, uh, I think maybe a couple marshmallow beds, and a marshmallow blanket. So as far as I'm concerned, that's some of her favorite stuff. Plus a ball track. Uh, I, I definitely the ball track. I don't think the ball tower. I think just the track. But the, she loves the ball tracks and towers. And uh, lots of those little Charlie balls and stuff. Everything I, I made sure that it included at least some of everything we know that she loves. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, she's going to be well set uh, right off the bat. So, uh, yeah. All right. Let's keep going. B&B &B Sisters, thank you again. That's wonderful. Uh, I really appreciate it. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's just say, it just says Kim Academy faculty specifically. All right. But it doesn't say who it's from. Maybe there'll be a note. Ooh. Uh, let's see. I thought this might be more comfy and pleasing to DJ's eyes in lieu of the folded blanket by the slider door. The faculty hopefully will snuggle in and bird watch uh, Kitten's Tooth from Joe and her cat Halpers. Well, you're right. That, uh, that's, that's actually not a blanket. That's the rug that I originally wanted to hang on the wall. It turned out to be just a little bit too big to fit in that space. And I thought for a while about folding it in half and trying to come up with a nice way to hang it on the wall, fold it in half. And I couldn't really get it. And uh, in the end, uh, I think this blanket looks beautiful. A plank rug looks beautiful and, and really works out. So I think it, I think it came out for the best. And then uh, I just left the, the other rug folded over there because I didn't really know what to do with it. Uh, it's huge. But it's not good as an actual rug because it's too floppy. It, it does look like a blanket. Like that's why we've never put it around the house because you can't vacuum it. And you can't wash it with the rug washer, but it's too big to fit in the washing machine, so it's impossible to clean. Uh, so it's just not really suited for us. Um, and you're absolutely right. DJ does not like having it by the door. We had a conversation about that. I, I, maybe it was on camera and you heard it. I don't know. Uh, but she was like, no, I don't, I don't like this. Uh, so whatever you said, I'm sure it's going to be something that's uh, going to be an improvement as far as she is concerned. Whatever it is, it's also vacuum sealed. Oh my goodness, somebody's excited. Do you think that crinkly noise just means treats for you every time? She is a treat fiend, and she comes running, and she's so smart too now. I almost feel bad when I open a bag in the bedroom of like uh, human food or, you know, like chips or something, and she zooms in. Or uh, if I make the noise to call her, that little, uh, well, I can make like that. Hi, yes. Oh, she is instantly like she just on it, uh, pays attention. So super smart and motivated she will be so easy to train uh whoever her adopter is if they end up uh wanting to train her uh they're gonna have an easy time of it so this looks like a cute gray bed actually and it looks like it's got some floofing up to do after it's been in travel uh, my guess is that it's you know so vacuum packed in there it's probably going to take a little while to decompress uh, literally decompress but it's kind of heart shaped too isn't that interesting it's not exactly round. It's more like a big gray uh, heart shape, I think. I think, uh, or at least sort of triangular with a point at the bottom, like a like a heart or like a like a nut, like a like a hazel not a hazelnut, a, a chestnut is what I'm thinking. Maybe something like that. It's very cute, and it's got this little gray bow on the front. And I feel quite certain that DJ will prefer this to that rug that I, I probably should take out. I don't think they're even sitting on it that much anymore, but look, these kids are going to like it. So we'll just we'll put it right there for the moment, and uh, when I get up, I'll move it over by the door, and we'll see how that works out. Thank you for that. That's very considerate of you. Okay, uh, so that's uh, Joe and Halfers, of course. So um, let's see here. Okay. Next up, we have... Uh, it just says Kitten Academy. 
we're making a very good time, but we still might use most of the hour here. Ooh. Uh, this says Fresh Element Solo Smart Pet Feeder. I can guess who this is for. Smart pet feeder. It's not just an automatic pet feeder. It is a smart one. I wonder what makes it smart, though. It says uh, fit for freeze-dried. I didn't know you needed a special design to work with freeze-dried food, but apparently you do. It's made of food-grade stainless steel. We like that. Uh, no worries about power failure. It's got a built-in battery. Oh, it's actually, you know, it is smart because it connects to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Oh, no, that's exciting. I love that techie stuff. Uh, keeps food fresh, easy to clean. Hmm. Now there is a note I think I saw on the bottom of the box, so let's check that. Uh, there we go. Interesting. Okay, okay. Maybe there's a note. I'm looking. Here we go. There is a note. It says, Cahoots! I can tell you from personal experience it is easier to not eat uh, than to have to lose weight. Hope this helps you. P.S. Carrie will not have anything to do with limiting anyone's food from trouble. Oh, well, thank you. I'm excited to check this out if we get a chance. Otherwise, I'm sure whoever adopts Kahuti will be excited to check it out. Uh, or I, I know uh, Trouble is on our Discord all the time, so uh, can let me know uh, whether you prefer us to try it out here as an experiment or whether you prefer to go just to the adopter or... Uh, or what? <clears throat> it does look pretty nice, though. Hmm. A lot going on there. All right. Uh, I'm not going to get into it right now, actually, because it's so nicely packed. Wow, it's a big hopper full of food. Fantastic. That's going to be just wonderful for uh, Kahuti and for Adopter, I am sure. And yeah, uh, I also know about how much easier... It, no, it isn't. It's not easier to not eat. It. None of that's easy. It's all quite difficult. <laughs> The whole thing. Ugh, my goodness. Science invents so many things. Why can't it invent delicious food that doesn't make anybody fat? You can just eat as much as you want. That's what we need. That's what we really need. Okay, get on that scientist. What are you good for anyway? All right. Uh, let's put that back here for the moment. Um, and let's see what we got over here. Boy, these kids are just wild about all that packing material. I bet they'd do great with a tissue fit. Maybe we can do that right after mailbag if I can get, uh, get that put together. Okay. No, oh, good. We got the knife guard and everything. So whoever sent this really knows what's up. And the note. And I can see this is uh, starting to look very familiar in here. The note says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I would like to wish you and everyone at the Academy a Merry Christmas and hope everyone is doing well. I enjoy watching Kahuti and her kittens grow and learn new things. I'm sending mini blankets and toys for the Kahooligans to take to their new homes. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, you didn't. Oh, wait, there's a second page. Okay, good. We're on that. There are some sweet and savory treats for you and DJ to enjoy. I'm also sending toys and treats for the faculty or to use as you see fit. Thank you for all you do for cats and kittens. From Rose, Tucker, Toby, and Tessa. Ooh, hey, yeah, P.S. Tessa's the newest addition to our family. Yes, a new name. All right, well, I think this will look familiar to everybody. We have separately packaged uh, cat toys and individual little blankets. And I love that you, you turn over the corner so we can see it all. We don't have to open it up and mess up the wonderful job you've done of packaging each of these. So uh, this one is for Kahuni herself, and it's got a bunch of toys in it, and this cute little blanket with cat faces on the one side and this pink pattern on the other. It's beautiful. Uh, here is Hoodwink. Uh, that makes me think of Hoodwink for some reason. Little cat faces in this uh, zigzag zag gray pattern. Uh, here we have Mayhem. Uh, gets this yellow with the, these orange. Uh, that's very cool, and it kind of matches both sides. I like it. We have one for hogwash that has construction equipment and these police cars. That's super cool, like old style police cars with this orange. That's pretty neat. Uh, bamboozle. Oh, beautiful flowers. And the same pattern is on mom's. Those are lovely. 
And then uh, Flim Flam has uh, oh, a little yellow sheep. Very cute. Those are fantastic. Thank you so much. And then, let's see, there's all kinds of other stuff here. So we have some freeze-dried food to try in the, the freeze-dried uh, food dispenser, maybe. Uh, those are treats, though. I guess it doesn't matter too much, does it? We have, ooh, uh, a bag of uh, those chewable, not chewable, mice, uh, the big red mice and uh, the little worms that Logan loves. Uh, so these are to go on the end of cat wands. Those are really nice. Uh, those mice get so much use around here, and they're good on or off the wand. And, uh, of course, the little worms are pretty good both ways, too. You just got to be sure to pick them up once they start falling apart. Here we have some amazing, this is an amazing set of little tiny silver vine, um, I don't know, the silver vine sticks, but they're wrapped in string. And then they've also got, uh, not rattan, uh, what do you call the uh, raffia? They've got a bit of raffia going to them for some extra crinkle and bite. And they each also have a silver vine nugget, uh, whatever uh, you would call that bud on the end of them. Those should, the, the mom cats go nuts for these things. I, I haven't seen them ever fail. So you sent two packs of those, which are gonna be fantastic for everybody. You sent some shiny uh, semi Christmassy ball, uh, mouse, uh, micey balls, I guess. I don't know how to describe these things. So they're very shiny and they're very round and they have little mouse faces and it looks like the nose might be compressed catnip. I believe it is. How cool is that? And the jingle bell on the tail has already got everybody's attention. Yeah, okay. So those are going to be a big hit. We have some Christmas mice. These are legitimately Christmas mice, all red and green and white all over. All right. I don't know the punchline to that joke. You're going to have to finish it for me. Uh, we have a whole bunch more treats. We've got blue bursts, very good treats, very crunchy treats. Up, up, up. Okay, there we go, blue bursts, awesome. Uh, we have these things. I've never known how to describe them, but they are a big hit. Uh, it's this this weird tube material that, uh, and it's got rattles in them, and they've got Charlie balls on the end, and they've got feathers, and they've got ribbons. Oh my goodness, that is a lot going on in one tiny toy. But these things are, and uh, they are a big hit. As you can see, they've already got the attention of some kittens. Uh, okay, and the rest of, oh wait, there's one more package that is wrapped up. Ooh, special wrapped up. Look at that. Yow catnip candy canes. Oh my goodness, and I can smell that catnip. That is some strong stuff. Yow catnip is, is really good stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're gonna get are you old enough to appreciate that or are you just playing because it's here? Are you guys starting to get into the catnip a little bit? All right. Well, for now, I'm gonna put those right back in here and put them over with a set of Christmas stuff. So you think I can get it into that pod without oh, too late. There's somebody in the way. I think we're going to have to start a box of Christmas things before we get out of here. Okay, there's a few more things, though. Sweet and spicy Cajun Trail Mix. Oh, my goodness. This looks so good. That's got all the stuff in it. Oh, man, I am hungry. That looks so good to me right now. Uh, we've got some Walker's Pure Shortbread. Very yummy. We all love the shortbread, especially DJ. We got some Biscoff, which has, I guess, become our thing. Uh, lots and lots of Biscoff here right now, which is never a bad thing. Whoa, okay, there we go. And finally, we got the uh, Gear Deli uh, Dark Chocolate Assortment. It's an assortment of the dark chocolates, I guess, caramel and almonds. And did I see some coconut shavings or something on here? Oh, sea salt, sea salt, caramel, uh, intense dark. Ooh, all right. And uh, sea salt almond, all right. I guess that's not coconut, that's uh, sea salt. That would make too much sense. All right, well, thank you, uh, Rose, Tucker, Toby, Tessa, and Tessa, the new Tessa. All right, let's put this with the letters. There we go. Uh, oh, uh, let's see. So the endowments for these kids. Let's put these things up here so these are definitely endowments specifically labeled. And then the rest of it, oh, we will put into whoops, another box. Uh, as sort of general use, possibly endowments. Uh, once we get up, we'll do that. So, oh wait, the B and B sisters box is basically that. Why don't we add this in there? Okay, don't worry, we won't give them all the credit. 
Probably. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, somebody is checking out that pod. Look at that. Uh, loft apartment up there. Lofted apartment. Awesome. Okay, two more boxes. Well, we got this giant box from Target, and we have the big box from um, Bruce and Bob that we didn't get to yesterday. So uh, we'll start this one since it's uh, probably easier for me to get into. To say anything about no, just Target. Uh, and again, it doesn't say who it's from. And I don't. Oh, it does say Eddie on the outside, but I don't know if that's our Eddie. Or if it was sent by someone named Daddy, it could go either way on that. Hard to say. Uh, and we'll say thank you to Eddie, though, just in case. Thanks, Eddie. Oh, my. This is huge. It's one huge thing. Oh, I think I'm starting to get an idea here what happened. Uh, I think that bed, the note that came with that bed, maybe, is it supposed to go with this or not? I don't know. I need some help. This says faux fur textured lounge pillow, oversized design, adds plush comfort to lounging or reading in any room. And then it shows a picture of this giant pillow on the ground. It's basically like the world's flattest beanbag or uh, kind of like a big old cushion. And I see it's got some long uh, strings on the end to tie it in a roll. I think it is in a roll right now. Is that, does that make sense? Is this the thing that's supposed to go by the door? Uh, I don't, there's definitely not a note here, but that is definitely my guess. And it matches that real well. They could go together. So uh, I guess let me know on the chat real quick and uh, we'll, we'll find out. This, this makes a lot of sense for being the thing that was sent to go by the door, potentially. Wow, it's so big and soft, too. I've never heard of a lounge pillow before, uh, and especially a faux fur lounge pillow. Wow, the kids are going to love that. I just hope Loganberry doesn't love it too much. Um, I am tempted to put it right out as well, but I want to hear from you guys first about it. So let's let's find out, and then we'll put it out. So for now, I'm going to sit right back in here. That's beautiful, though. Um, and that seems like a... A cool thing to have. I think my phone is buzzing with an answer. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's where my phone is. All right. Uh, actually, I don't know. It, it was it was buzzing. There's a lot going on, but I don't see any answer to that particular question. So I do see a prod to try doing the t-shirts again because we're we're waiting hard on getting those t-shirts up on the store. Not entirely our fault, but at this point, kind of our fault, yeah. Uh, so I will have to give that another try ASAP. Um, okay, well, meanwhile, we have one more box to go through uh, from Ruth and Bob. Uh, let me just double check here and make sure I'm not missing anything that I can see. Okay. Yeah, I can sit on it if I keep it rolled up. Yeah, that makes a, a lot of sense too. Um, okay, well, let's uh, let's keep going here for now, and open the final uh, box for today. There we go. From Bob and Ruth. A lot going on in here too. All right, you kids are going nuts with this packing material. You really need a tissue pick going on in here. All right, this is a wow, quite a collection of stuff. So here we have. Oh, uh, this is chicken fillet. Uh, I don't need to open the box right now, but you know what's going on there. It's it's basically just a piece of a chicken breast, uh, all ready to go. Those are wonderful cat treats. They go crazy for them. I'm just the best. 
Uh, this is labeled for cahoots. It is a cat tunnel. It says meow all over it, so you know it's a cat tunnel. Uh, that's pretty cute, actually. Oh, it also just says cat tunnel. All right. She will love it. Um, this is, well, it says churu, but in fact contains fancy feast, classic pate. I love it. Uh, you might have noticed that uh, uh, Ruth and Bob sent uh, one of these before um, with the old churu. And after we cleared it out, I started using it to carry around the dry food in so that I have a little way to, to store some dry food nicely. Uh, so you see me carrying that around all the time. This is more classic pate and also an extra one of the chicken fillets on top. I see that as well. So those are wonderful. We have a, oh, this is so sweet. Look at that. It's a blanket. It's a big, soft, gray blanket. And it says cahoots on it. Cahoots, what do you think? She's like, I just want those treats. I heard fillet. <laughs> All right, let's put that with the endowments. Also, more endowments for cahoots. Wow, it's your lucky day, cahoots. You've got a beautiful, soft bag here to carry all your toys in. Well, to carry some of your toys in. I think you're going to need a bigger bag if you're going to carry them all. Oh, and it's got like a, a nice, uh, solid bottom to it, too, so it'll stay pop, 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 pop to open when you start filling it with toys. Easy for me to say. You have a Yao catnip. This is also addressed to Kiku that says, Happy Kitty, a Yao catnip heart. It's all fluffy on one side, embroidered on the other. Happy Kitty. All right, put that with her endowments. This one also says Cahoots. I think somebody might be a favorite here, Kahooty. Uh, this is the Dr. Pussum's catnip with uh, four little catnip uh, bags in it. And this is some really good stuff. Dr. Pussum's, uh, that is also like the... Uh, like the Yao, I think it's, um, it is just as good as the Yao, but it might even last a little longer. Hard to say for sure. Here we have some real fur balls that are addressed to the faculty. Oh, that's wonderful. They're going to get a big kick out of that. Let's put that out here. Oh, let's put the tunnel up since that also says boots and reflecting her down up here. If we continue to have room for them anyway. There is more for her. A set of wicker balls. Well, not all. One is... I don't, one is a uh, raffia, I think. One is kind of a wicker, and one is some sort of woven uh, braided thing. They're a beautiful set together. I think that's uh, very nicely decorated. It also says four cahoots. Lots of cahooty going on here. Ooh, this is a marshmallow blanket, and it's white, uh, sort of a creamy white color. Uh, that's going to be great for taking photos and things on. And on the back side, it's got a short nap. Uh, that could also be really pretty. That's great. It feels like a big blanket, too. It's quite heavy. It doesn't say here what size it is. Uh, but I think it is very big. It says also light yellow, which, yeah, I guess creamy white or light yellow. Uh, all right. I think when uh, in the old house, we had our, our kitchen walls painted that sort of off-white yellow color, and they called it they call it Navajo something, Navajo white, maybe something like that. It was weird. I'm like, I don't know why, uh, but it's a beautiful color. It really worked in the kitchen there too. Wow. Uh, you set a set, sent a set of six Sherpa blankets. That set a set, sent a set of six Sherpa blank. Wow, that sounds like a tongue twister. Uh, sent a set of six Sherpa blankets. Six, yes. Okay, so 50 by 60. So these are quite large, soft. This one's uh, we got a whole set of pink ones. Uh, there's four of these pink ones here. I don't have to get them all out. Also a blue one and a white one. So with six of them being different colors like that and one blue for the boy and maybe one white for the mom and four pink for the four little girls, I think that's my guess anyway. We're going to pretend that these are for endowments because that just works out too well to be a coincidence. Here we have a food pet placemat, a uh, food mat uh, that says bone, bone appetite on it. That's cute. Uh, keep your bowl from sliding around. That's also probably, this one does not say cahoots on it, but I can see this being very good for cahoots who does push her bowl around quite a bit when she's frantically eating things she can get. Uh, we have a bag of kitten temptations, chicken and dairy. And... Whoa, some uh, mom and baby cat. Oh, yeah. So we may end up needing this for our new mom cat pretty soon. We don't always feed the mom and baby cat, but if mom looks like she needs some extra calories 
or uh, maybe just a change up in her diet a little bit, we go right to this stuff. It's wonderful cat uh, food for, for mom cats. The only trouble is it's so rich, uh, sometimes it gives them the bad poops. So it can be a little much even, but uh, we'll see. Like I said, we definitely use it very often. And one of those wonderful, wow, so heavy uh, rubber litter mats that uh, we, we've gotten a couple of these from you in the past too. They're, they're made of like this rubber string that's been molded together so it catches all of the litter in it. Um, and I, I haven't quite had to figure out yet how to clean it out when it gets full of litter. But in the meanwhile, it is great at collecting stuff and uh, solid too. I mean, this is heavy. This thing weighs a few pounds. Uh, so you know it's gonna last a long time. Uh, that's wonderful. Bob and Ruth, that is so sweet of you. And uh, I think I'm actually gonna transfer the endowments to this box because there are so many of them. And so that way they can go with those blankets. So I can just dump all this right in here unceremoniously. There we go. I don't know what a endowment transfer ceremony would look like anyway, so how would I do it ceremoniously? I haven't got the slightest idea. All right, this is generic endowments here. Uh, and that's faculty, and that's food, and this is food. Okay, I, things are kind of sorted, and we'll sort the rest when I kind of sort of sorted. Uh, we'll do the rest now when I get up. So uh, that's it then. We made it through 1146. I guess I didn't quite get an even split there. I should have stopped on the hour yesterday, and then it would have been a perfect even split. Uh, two hours, I think, just about. But that's fine. Uh, perfection has never been the goal here. <laughs> so, uh, All right. I'm going to get up now. I'm going to put this stuff away. Uh, and maybe uh, I can even bring up a pit full of tissues or something. We'll see. Uh, or maybe these kids are just going to settle down once I get uh, up and moving. We'll see. If they, if they settle down, we'll save the tissue pit for later. And if not, uh, I'll see about it. But it's empty right now, so I'll have to start from nothing. Oh, somebody wants one of those catnip. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but she just, she just like, uh, Kahuni just got onto those two catnip um, candy canes, and she just, like, scrunched down on them and started rubbing her head on them. But then she got tackled by, uh, I think, the boy and decided to go off and, and bite him. And uh, now she's sitting on him, and she was kind of trying to bite him, and then she gave him a grooming. You can probably see some of that. Now he's like, this is too much, Mom. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me get up and get this stuff done. Oh. Oh, such a long way to stand. We have a kitten in a box. What else is in this box? Nothing? Okay. Just a kitten. You guys deflated all these? How did you do that? Good work. Not quite all of them, but most of them. That's still some good work. I don't think you guys work very long in the Amazon packing, would you? You'd be like, these kids they never get the packing material in there with the air still in it. All right, let's see here. That's endowment specific. These are endowments generic. And so those can go downstairs together. And so can these notes. They can go down there. We'll sort them out downstairs. There we go. Get that out of the way. And figure out what else. We need a box. Do we need a box for this stuff? Oh, this should say Kahootie on it for now anyway. So let's label it and then we'll figure out what to do with it.
Oh, sorry, I stepped on your tail there. Not hard though, bare feet. Okay. Let's move all this food over here. Do you want a candy cane, cutie pie? I think you do, don't you? Well, you're getting one anyway. Even if you didn't want it. What? See our mom cat in her box is a little out of focus, but uh, you're just going to have to squint because that's the camera with the fixed focus that's up close. So the end of the box is just a little far to be in focus. I'll get a better camera in there uh, if I can. In due time. Such squeaking going on over there, kiddos. What are you looking for here, Mayhem? These are people foods. You don't want to eat people treats. I mean, maybe you do want to, but you're not going to. I mean, that's how it works. I need my shoes now, pal. And my shoes. My old falling apart house shoes. Okay. I think Custer wants to come in here and play with kittens, but he is cruising for a bruising. Oh, it's so heavy. This rug. This rug that thinks it's a blanket. Okay. I just have this reflex to check the door and make sure that oh she doesn't try to get in here. <sighs> now wherever this thing is going, it doesn't need a whole box to itself. Let's just set this thing out. It says not a toy, okay? The bag part, not a toy.
no, 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 no. Oh, she almost ran out. How you like that, huh? All right, well, that's it for Mailbag. Thank you guys all so much. Uh, sorry I'm uh, kind of exhausted today. Um, and not entirely because of the adoption. I think I mentioned before, I've got to get my sleep schedule changed so that I'm up with Thursday for the rest of the week. Um, so uh, we're working on that. Uh, but, uh, but I do, I truly appreciate everything that everybody has done, uh, for us and especially for the kittens. That's, that's what it's all about. So, uh, we really do appreciate that. And, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to wrap it up right here. We're just going to end the archive. And then, there we go. Oh, wrong.